Once a year a festival of games is held. Each of the kingdoms picks their best and flashiest to go and battle for their honor and place among the legends. Many roads lead to E3, but in the end there can be only one that claims the crown. Welcome to the Extreme Hardcore Nerds E3 Special. Now here are your battle-tested and triumphant host. Hello again <laughs> to all of our wonderful and glorious fans. Yes, this is the Extreme Hardcore Nerds E3 Special. A week long <laughs> game or uh, week long gaming festivities have been held in in LA. Forty five thousand plus people showed up this and year. And it was all private. Yep. <laughs> and so private. <laughs> Take off that mask, I can't hear you. <laughs> Can you not hear me? Am I am I am I just too low for you? you what? Just so lovely. <laughs> you don't scare me. <laughs> Say that, but Wait, you won't hug me. Hold on, should, should we have Gunner hold the computer monitor in front of him? <laughs> It'd be nice. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Why do we keep bringing him? I'll be the uh, commander from Saga. There you go, yeah. <laughs> that works. Uh, yep. So you're going to fuck a robot chick? Wow. No, no, no. I thought that was from Jason X. No, no that's Saga issue one. Well, is but there something you want to tell us about X Jordan like now? Fucking? No. Okay. Not going down the road. Woo! <laughs> 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 uh, so, yeah, after that wonderful interlude when I had such a great intro plan. Mm -hmm. uh, here's, it's a typical Extreme Hardcore Nerds <laughs> podcast. Uh, yes, E3 is here. We are covering all the major news from the, yes, from the convention. We have Microsoft's press conference. We have Sony's press conference. We have Nintendo... <laughs> <laughs> oh great! Not yeah, again. this is professional. No, yeah. <laughs> Nintendo for you, that was uh, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> we have Ubisoft's press conference, and of course, we have EA's. We have tons and tons of game demos. We have some of the news that you he didn't hear during the E3 press conference, and of course, our best in show and our top five most impressive games. So sit back because this is going to be a long ass show. And if you're not sitting back. Sit. Yes. <laughs> M make sure you are seated somewhere for this one. Get comfy. So with all that having been said, I am, of course, your host, your all-knowing exalted one himself, your king of kings, Big Daddy Cool, Andy Kruger, and joining me this week in studio. Ah, the ever-present, ever-excluded, ever-so-magnificent Dark Reaper Stephen Creighton. And also with us... Actually in studio again. The goats, the boats, the back seats that go goodbye, Gunner Sipper. And last but certainly not least, Derpa Derpa, Garrett Four. <laughs> wow. Shut up, noob. <laughs> some of the other ones he's had. So. <laughs> Shut up, noob. Oh. Fine, fine. Shut up, noob, Garrett Four. There you go. Is that better? Yay. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, so. Why waste any time? Let's get right into it. First off the docket. Wait, we're not going to another segment? No. Nope. No. <laughs> we don't have Breaks. time for that. This Breaks? Is, this is the E3 Wait. special. What if we need to go pee? As a garbage can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On camera, hope you, yes. have good, hope you have a good bladder. <laughs> uh, great. Okay, okay uh, let's go. <laughs> so, yes. Kicking us off right away at the beginning of the very first press conference of E3 this year. As usual, Microsoft sounded the first shots heard. And we kicked it off with Halo 4. We got uh, the live action trailer with gameplay, a little bit of gameplay tied in. Um, I think probably the biggest thing that we can take away from Halo 4 is we finally got the graphic boost that we were expecting from a next-gen console, which we should have got with Halo 3. Halo 3 did have the graphics boost also compared you to Halo... Reach, right? You right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you gradually see where all the Halos came from, you can see easily the graphics boost. Oh, but yeah. this one has extreme graphics yes, boost. Yes, no, this is what you expect yeah. from this, this console yeah. generation. So that trailer, was that... That was live action, not CGI. I yeah. didn't get to uh, see the live action. The first part of the trailer one. is all live action with the the, with yeah. the people. Yeah, and then they cut they into transition to uh, actual, actual on stage demo. Demo. Yeah. Was that Simon Pegg? Where? And uh, on the ship. I 
I don't think so. Don't think I didn't so. get to see that. I'm gonna take a look at that. Later, I, I don't. There think was so. a part on there where I was like, "Is that Simon Pegg?" Because like they they cut to a scene in the show and they're obviously framing certain people on the ship. Yeah. yeah. And one of the guys, you know, red hair has the goatee. I swear it looked just well, like him. If it was him. red hair, you'd think it'd be Conan O'Brien. Not. No, well, Conan O'Brien did had on there. Well. That's he's gonna be. He's gonna, gonna be yes. on there. We but, know that. Um, but no, but yeah, and he also did like a segment of it over on the Conan O'Brien show. We know, but we, but we covered that. I know. Yeah. And then like right at the end when the ship's crashing or whatever. Yeah. The and they, they frame the, the guy looking out the window. I swear I, that was. I, I didn't. See I didn't it pay that close attention. attention. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It was just something that caught my eye. And okay. I gotta like YouTube this then because I haven't seen it. Uh so yes, we got the live action trailer. We got straight into gameplay. Uh, gameplay look crisp. I mean, it, it looks. It look like it's Halo. a it's a Halo look, game. It, it takes. Looked, I, I said it looked. It looked a lot like Crisis. <laughs> it takes the uh, concept it was way of more a Halo than Crisis. I, I okay. saw a lot of comments saying it looked like Metroid. Okay. Like, the way the gun came up was like I could see Metroid. The, the yeah, fact the, that the, it the it, way it the was pieces, built it built itself. I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, like okay. So as a Halo person I am, I thought everything looked great on it. The customizations of the guns. The they, people, didn't they didn't show us any of those. But they were talking about it. Later yes. later in depth when Microsoft got more in depth about it, they were saying the guns are going to be customized. Um, new enemies are also talking about the enemies, the new enemies we, of yeah, yeah, we saw that in the trailer. coming, it, spawning, and porting. It's not just the Covenant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going... No, Covenant's it's now... Set. Covenant's no more. No, they're, no, they're, they're still there. there. The they were there. there. Yeah. yeah, they were. They, they were actually grunts. showed. They showed some grunts right in the beginning. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 I watched and a different gameplay than you did. Yeah. Because this was at the conference. Because yeah, the he, like comes this up this right over the hill yeah, and is like scouting party. Actually, at the conference. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I know I was looking at some other gameplay footage also. Well, this because it was like it was an eight-minute video, wasn't it? Like yeah, all together. Yeah, it was like the first ten minutes of the show. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. But uh, so another yeah, thing, and, then, and like you said, the the tagline for this one is an ancient evil awakens, awakens. which is the Prometheans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which they didn't tell us on stage. Yep. <laughs> but people. Fear. And apparently they know Cortana. Yes. But they 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 have some. Well, they, well yeah, I mean, she she even made references Rips like to a couple them. of the guns during during yeah. the gameplay, so yeah. well, you know there's that tie. In also. There. Tie in books. Exactly. The Corton is more in depth in the books too, yeah. if you've ever read them. So, but it looks good. It so looks a good Halo Four game. I am happy with. Three it looks like Three Four Three Studios knows what they're doing. Yes. Yes. And they're keeping the Halo they, aspect they didn't going pull on. They Treyarch and go, "Oh God, please just give us a chance." No. Well, they have more of it because they're actually a studio. We have no, we have no idea about. I know. They, they, <laughs> just, they just basically said, "Here's what we got. Yeah. Take it or leave it." Yeah. <laughs> and I think, and I think most people are were exactly. excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, to see the return of Master Chief. Well, the but only thing you could do is just. I screw it. I'm over. hoping it's not going to be all jungles. It, no, it's oh, not. Oh, it's not going to be all jungles. Oh, I don't think every I, Halo game at least has a snow level and a driving level. Yeah, I, I, okay. I think just because we started here, that that's what they show well, us. Maybe not because it's not Bungie anymore. Yeah, so, things might. Be I don't nice. think that they're going to ruin Bungie's reputation of the Halo franchise. But we Next. don't know what they'll throw. <laughs> <in it>, so <laughs> go. Next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so and then a surprise announcement. Let that wasn't so surprising. Well, yeah, <laughs> it was a surprise to me, and I just kind of went, "Oh, oh, great." So yes, a new Splinter Cell is coming. Splinter Cell Blacklist. It looks good. It looks like Metal Gear Solid met Future Soldier. It's fourth they, echelon. They, they, <laughs> they turned, they turned, uh, Sam Fisher into an action game. And they went less away from the stealth and the things that you know from Splinter Cell, and they and they basically, like I said, tried to make it a third-person cover-based shooter. Yeah. Well, that's what they did on Metal Gear Solid 4. Not so quite. Not as much. I mean, yeah, there, you know, there's, there's there's still a lot if you're going of for the big up. boss, um, um, yes. Yeah, but I mean, but, but, I mean they, but there were still a lot of stealth elements to Metal, they Metal went, Gear They They definitely went away from the from Sam Fisher prior, from what we know of. Yes. Which is, I think, what a lot of people have been saying that they wanted more but, of. And I also noticed, too, this is a much 
younger Sam, Sam Fisher. So but yeah, I also did notice that too. I was like, this seems a little. The graphics weird. engine that Ubisoft is using on it, it looks really good though. I didn't hear what just the demo with engine they're using. Well, I don't know what I engine, but the the graphics and gameplay and cinematics that they're showing off of it looked pretty good. So I mean, yeah, I kind of. I, I mean, I it looks say pretty. If anything, they're probably <laughs> yeah. look, they're using the Assassin's Creed engine. Uh, I mean, I mean, from from the gameplay and stuff that they showed is what I would take. Um, I, it's going to be hit or miss, though. So. Yeah, very. So, uh, like I put if in my li- put it, like I put in my notes. You like the li- convention, you'd like this one. Li- That's basically what it is. And conven- and conviction killed the the series for me. That's why I said if you like conviction, you'll like this one. But I didn't see anything here that conviction brought us. It's more action based, not a lot of. Sneak but, around. E- but even conviction was still more stealth based. I conviction didn't. I did cool. not really play that much stealth in confirmation. But I mean, we're, they, not they get, we're not getting. We're not getting. Yeah, no, we're not getting into. some things from conviction, like last known whereabouts, and you know stuff like that. And of course, they had to show off the connect. You know the, the one voice thing. Guy. Yeah, you can which yell I at can a guy tell, and he'll which, respond. Which was to totally you. the Metal Gear thing you got from yeah. that. It's just a knocking hey. on the door. So, <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so less stealth, more kick ass. Um, like I said, the connect voice recognition. Um, yeah, um, and and last known spot returning. And so far, right now, they're shooting for a spring 2013 release. Mm-hmm. Like I said, conviction killed Splinter Cell for me. I am, as far as I'm concerned, unless this is a holy god, it blows it completely out of the water. I'm not going back. I have no words for it. I, pl- I didn't play double A. I, I play played all of them, so I would probably rent this one for me, just to check it Maybe out. Maybe a rent, I guess, if I want to give it a try, but... I was upset, though, that they didn't show any of the Rainbow Six game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Patriots. I, I, yeah. I, I wanted that. I really wanted that. I could have probably done with more of that. But Ubisoft did give us a nice surprise. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk, that we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, so next up, we had EA, and of course they bring us sports. <laughs> <laughs> What's new about that? <laughs> oh. So yeah, we got Madden and FIFA are, are coming to the Connect, um, adding voice commands, uh, language recognition, you know, all that fun stuff. Wow, and sounds like so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the FIFA stuff, I wasn't that impressed. For the Madden stuff, like actually being able to call audibles at the line and call out certain players and stuff like that, that actually was kind kind of impressive too. I could so see Andy audible sixty (laughs) nine. Well, if I had a play called sixty nine and it worked in that situation, they hug sixty nine. I don't know. (laughs) You don't watch a lot of football, do you? Well, he is a Vikings fan. That should explain all hey, that. Hey, no, hey, 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 No, I am oh. not. No, I am not. We're not going there. We're, yeah, we're, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's sure, see. Sure, I won't kick you when you're down and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you expect any you more of it. me? <laughs> exactly. No comment. Oh, let's see. Next out of the gate was... Fable the Journey. Or should I say the Dragon Ball Z wannabe. <laughs> Seriously, his first, a- his, the guy's first move that he did for the, was seriously the Kamehameha. And I'm, and yeah. I'm sitting there watching the press conference, literally he's winding his back, hands back, Kamehameha. <laughs> uh, Is this his last fable? I see why Mama knew left. Uh, Is this Peter's last fable? He already left. He already left. He's oh. gone. Oh. Yeah, he's, he started a new studio. He was oh. do, he was doing. He interviewed the guy that was working on this one for. Oh, I thought he was. G- st- I thought Journey was his last one. He he was there for the beginning, beginning of, of it. it but okay. Yeah, no, he that's why I'm trying. That did he has he formed a new studio now? Yeah, yes, yeah. but you don't remember the name. I don't remember. Totally the name, don't blame me. It, it was all play. part of that 22 project. It's all about the 22 that we cans. Covered a couple 22 oh, cans. Okay, yeah. Is that the yeah. name of the studio? 22 cans. Now I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. So, um, how the hell is this game not on rails? Because it has a fable name. Well, okay. But that, that's it's, the only thing I'm thinking about. It's a Connect but exclusive, right? Yes. Then I'm guessing it's going to do what uh, the horror one. Uh, oh, uh. Nightmares. Um, yeah, Rise of the Nightmares. Rise of Nightmares. Rise of Nightmares. Okay. It's probably gonna do something like that, where it's 
it'll work, it's gonna be interesting. Because Rise of the Nightmares was actually decently fun, having to do the movement and stuff okay. like that, and that's completely not on Rails, but it's... It, especially, like, I tried the Star Wars Connect game, too, and it's kind of moving like that, and... Did you dance the like, comedy? No, I'm, I did the Ryan Coyle so Okay. I'm so um, sorry that you tried that Star Wars it, one. It was... Alright, but it's the same thing. Like, if they can... Push. Push. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that! I was at Mall America and I saw that. If they can just work out the Something movement... Tells me I know doing they don't want to do uh, any controllers, but I really think if they have, like, a uh, DDR pad implemented with it, that would probably it, help a lot. It would work so yeah, much so you better. Can at least give a, you know, <laughs> something for some, movement. Some direction. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, but that's the thing. You're, you're you're basically supposed to give like bike commands, and that's well, where your for, character moves. So like for movement, it tracks where your feet are, and you're supposed to like <laughs> lean forward or like take a step forward, and then you move forward, and like it works. It's not, you know, on a dime movement yeah. though. So I like, would love to see. Okay, step forward. I can't step any forward. I'm at my freaking wall. Come on. Well, I mean, it tells you no well, if you're not playing it in Andy's small area. <laughs> you do have you, that did room. Did you hear that about that? The Kinect does not like him, by the way. The Kinect doesn't like a lot of things. <laughs> the Kinect yeah. likes me. Well, I, I'm just saying. I mean, when I play at Jordan's house, they have the big open area. I have no problems with their Kinect ever. And yeah. it's been a good experience. Okay. Andy. So. Nothing against Andy, he just doesn't have that room. I, yeah, I'm I'm the cons I'm a consumer where I don't have this, but yet I want your product. How are you going to adapt to me so yeah. I can? Japanese household. Anywho, <laughs> yeah, pretty anyway, much. So yeah, it was. So we just got a trailer. There was no <laughs> actual gameplay footage or anything with. Or, well, there was a couple spots, but it's not like we got like a on stage. It's going to be average. average. Really hoping for. That's that's all. So I they could kind of prove to us average. it's not on rails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the only thing people have been saying. So in case you haven't figured out, a lot of the gripes we had from last year's E3 are going to be rearing their heads again because we didn't fix a lot of the problems. I can't really remember last year's. E3. Oh, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> you'll 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 hear them as they come. <laughs> um, also, kind of um, not so much of a surprise, but it was a surprise to hear about it. Gears of War Judgment was next up. Of Epic. Just just a trailer, but we're, we're following Baird and Cole. More Baird. Yes. Baird is the main protagonist, Baird. but... It, oh, yeah, I guess no, I'll call it. Should I take this one? No I, Cliffy. Nobody even from Epic really showed nope. up. It was totally just it, someone the, from the, Microsoft. The, no, it was the... the, the, no. Um, the they, they had more of a hands-on... The, the guy booth. from... At the booth, the, yeah. The yeah. guy that... But just uh, has the voice act. Yeah. The guy from the voice acting, the voice actor of Baird actually showed up, talked a little bit about it. Yeah. Um. The quick story off of this is, it takes place a couple weeks after E Day, and about two years, I think, or did I say that correctly? Um. Before Gears of War One, Baird is a villain, and he did something wrong or whatever. And the trailer was he was getting dragged into to get punished from whoever was leading the cog. I don't think it was that chairman dude no, that died in before. number three. It's it's somebody before that. It's before all the, but probably all the officials started yeah. being active. That's basically all we saw. We just got like, we didn't really know what the story is. We don't know anything. All it does is it looks pretty. Yeah, it was a cinematic trailer. Yeah. Um, and I'll remember where they. Came. What? Where that, what did Island? Epic also show off? Also, their new engine. Oh yeah. That wasn't at the that Microsoft, wasn't at the press Microsoft conference. conference though. Does Epic has their own press conference? No, but no. They, they just made their own announcement. Same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same thing I didn't know if that was no nope. part of E3 or yep. not. So. It was part of E3. Yes, but, yes, but this is just the Microsoft, Microsoft press conference. conference. I, I didn't know that was part of. Okay. Yeah, it's just it. well, it's just that <laughs> we're with Epic. I'm I didn't know if we're gonna I'm do that or not. Okay, the run sheet. I'm sorry. Yeah. You didn't let us know what's going on, so no. Anyways. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> so next up is um, we got a look at Forza Horizon huh. coming out October twenty third, two thousand twelve, and. Rather than your traditional Forza racing game, this basically looks like Need for Speed Met Burnout. It takes place at a Colorado music festival 
and you just go around challenging racers to different races and different styles of races and stuff like that. And it's an it's an open world racing game, and yeah. Kind of reminds me of Midnight Club. Mm. A little bit. A little yeah. bit of that, yeah. Your crowds will look pretty. Midnight Club was the first game I actually made out with a chicken. A real life chick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. Wow, I don't know, I don't know man. Like <laughs> <laughs> Speaking um, of girls. Boy, you that want escalated <laughs> fast. <laughs> Speaking of women you want to make out with? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Does, is there a girl in the next one? <laughs> uh, no, actually, the next one involves Nickelodeon. Oh, hey, that's Speaking of making <laughs> out! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, yay! I Kissing like obviously you. leads to babies, and that's where we're going. And that's where yeah, Nickelodeon yeah. goes! <laughs> yes! Can high-five on that one? I'm not high five <laughs> 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 Oh, You're just so, not good enough for that. So, <laughs> after that part, pretty yes. so much... Uh, Keep your own drive right home tonight. After Forza, we pretty much... Okay, that was the end of games, <laughs> and we entered into no. the more multimedia <laughs> aspect of Microsoft's press conference. Uh, I I wouldn't say the end of games, but, but end well, of games for now. Couple, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, they announced that uh, they're announcing Bing genre. Dumb. Well, yeah, basically you can tell Bing to search things via genre content if you want action movies, if you want horror movies, if you want, you know, blah, blah, blah. That all comes out. Uh, later this fall, um, and then also they're adding more languages, so now you can speak to your Xbox in Spanish and Portuguese and Russian and... <laughs> what, what about, what about Hola, your Xbox? Xbox? <laughs> <laughs> what about Hola, your... Xboxion! Ding! <laughs> what about your, um, Japanese accent? <laughs> Hiya, <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> oh, konnichiwa, Xbox. <laughs> bing bing. <laughs> yeah, wow, I told you. Not bad Japanese. Um, that was bad. I didn't get those some uh, <laughs> a few years. Leave me alone. Uh, 35 new providers are coming, including Nickelodeon, Paramount, Machinima, and Univision in Espanol. Uh, and English as well. Uh, also, uh, also adding uh, new ESPN Great upgrades <laughs> and getting um, uh, the the NBA full uh, full court packages and the NA NHL uh, center ice. So all that stuff coming to Xbox Live. I like I'm that. so glad I can spend seven dollars to access other paid content. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh goody! <laughs> uh, yeah, at least they're oh, trying to like put everything in one. Also, Zoom Music Place is getting another makeover. Now it is becoming Xbox Music. Well, I um, wonder why. No oh, wait. Uh, yeah, how's that Zoom thing going on? No word of it. Uh, <laughs> and, we're, and basically, this is a. Um, it's, it's going to be an upgrade to Windows Media Player because we all know Microsoft is basically trying to roll the same thing out to all, our, all of its platforms. So, <laughs> yeah. That might be a good segue. Mm. <laughs> uh, almost. There was one <laughs> other thing they announced before they got to that. Uh, Nike has joined with Xbox to promote fitness. Are we going to strap Xbox on our feet? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's supposed to be, yeah, it's connect and you're supposed to use the Nike peripherals to track your heartbeat and it. Yeah. Um, Pick up your box. Put your box down. Okay, okay. Pick your so box up again. Okay, the reason, the reason why they, they go get a beer segment <laughs> of, of their press conference. The, the reason why we are gamers is not because we want to get exercise. It's because we, I don't know. Nintendo. Yes, that's 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 a reason. <laughs> when was the last we time Nintendo. we <laughs> plugged it up? When's the last time that we all turned on our Nintendo? We are gamers because obviously Nintendo. you've never worked in retail because I've been there 8 a.m. on a Saturday when we got new shipments of Wii Fit. Yeah. So yeah, that is an argument. Yeah, that was when it came out. <laughs> yeah, that but that was when Nintendo had their license to print money and then everyone <laughs> figured out what the hell you had to do with that thing. And, it, it kind of fell off the ladder in a hurry. Oh. We'll cover that when <laughs> yeah. we get to Nintendo. That, this is oh, going to be God. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, 
<laughs> oh, can right you now, stop? Josh, can you, right now, Josh is just doing his massive eye roll again, and it just won't stop. Hey, no, can, no, can, no, can, 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 during the Nintendo this. press conference, can we keep it a little quieter and nicer? No. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, but it's always so, so cute and cuddly. Uh, so, Wait, him? And then actually, Wait, one, of the, <laughs> one of the bigger surprises from this year is this is where Xbox announced Smart Glass. Which looks interesting. Anything to do with glass. Not at all. <laughs> that was the code I'm name. I'm already done. <laughs> Wait, so is that, that is still the code name? That is yeah. still the okay. uh, I think that's the official name, too. Isn't God, it? I hope it's not I, the official name. Yeah. <laughs> it's the official name, I thought. <laughs> but basically, Smart Glass is connecting all of your already owned devices your iCraps, your Android devices, your tablets, your insert whatever here, and making it an immersive um, entertainment experience on the Xbox 360. So it, from them. it's um, kind of kind of like what Nintendo is doing, where you can uh, fling your your movie you're watching from your tablet onto or onto your 360 yeah. and then you can also have additional content from the movie right there on your tablet or like they showed off like with Halo 4 um, if you get a new gun or if you want to uh, inspect the um, the perks or whatever of a, of a particular item or a particular spot you're in yep. you know you can do that on your tablet while you have the game open or as most of gamers will call it a laptop right mm -hmm. next to you or uh, you can yes, automatically do you that playing, on your, or yeah. you could do that on your tablet already because yeah. we all have the internet. <laughs> but now it's officially tied to the game, so when you get that achievement, it updates right. your tablet right away and going, "Hey, cool," and telling but you what you got. But it's it's a smart idea. Oh no, I'm not. I mean, we're, we're ba not bashing it. Yet. Yeah, no, the industry. Well. Got, <laughs> then this is yeah. and this is where that other studio is kind of banking on where they w where pretty much everyone has gotten to the point now where you have two devices in front of you at one time. Mm -hmm. I just like it that like now my cuz instead of going trying to look at the Xbox 720 or whatever um I they're now means. trying to combine everything into one Xbox and now maybe when they're coming out with the Xbox 720 instead of needing to do all this it's already going to be there yeah, plus so extra power the stuff you already have yeah not it's just that other that other it's the yeah, beginning stages but, of but, but you can you can at least peripheral you can see microsoft peripheral. trying to add on trying to update it's trying to expand the life of the current console. yeah, yeah. But yes. it's also the framework for what's come what's to come next yeah what, so what, i'm i'm quite happy with the, the, some of the tech that microsoft is doing for their so, yeah so and they also added that um, Internet Explorer is finally coming to 360. Well, IE6 or IE9? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> IE9. Okay, good. Because if it was IE6, I'd still kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, really, they couldn't make some contract with, like, Google Firefox. or Firefox, like something oh. that would work? No, because they already have their own search engine in Bing. They already have their own Internet browser in Internet Explorer. Hey. So why not? Why pay somebody else? to do the stuff that you're already doing. I need to pay someone to get hey, something to work. Hey, no, hey, I'm a graphics designer major and a web page design major. IE9 actually works. It's just IE6, IE7 didn't work. How's IE8 time working? Well, time will IE8 tell. IE8.5 works. <laughs> <laughs> time will tell how bad this works yeah. out. And then also, as some of you may have already heard, the Xbox style of interface is coming to Windows 8. Well, Hope you like blades and tabs. Yeah, I already saw that. Hope well, you I like mean, a I, lot of advertisements. I will not, <laughs> uh, you know, well, because I mean, my I, even though yes, I'm running Vista. Um, Why? My media <laughs> came preloaded on it when we bought the computer. Gloss. Trust me, I asked for XP, and they're like, no, we can't do that. But this is also when Circuit City was going out of business, so mm. it was a fire sale. So wipe your computer and install XP yourself. I have the disc. <laughs> I also too. It's working fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> how did that? Lose train of thought. Continue. <laughs> I didn't know a roast was going to pop up. All of you time. said Vista. <laughs> what <laughs> you were <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but. I mean, I it's like going to a Star Wars convention and yelling out Star Trek. <laughs> 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 Which is something he would do. <laughs> yeah, just to piss off <laughs> the other guys. Spock can kick Vader's ass. <laughs> 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 oh, anyways, the point I'm trying to 
trying to make is I have a media center machine where we already kind of have that integration there if you want to use it. Yeah. And it works fine. What's the OS? What? No. Operating system. What? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So I'm just saying they've, they've already been doing this with earlier integrations. Now they're just going to pretty much full-fledged, here's, here's the way it's going to look. So... <sighs> when is Windows 8 I, out, anyways? I have no idea, actually. I don't want to. I don't want to jump the gun, but please tell me that quote about smart glasses coming up soon. No, no. Oh God, no. <laughs> Wait, yeah. What was this quote? Can I? Can I just? Yeah, you uh, go okay. ahead. Okay, so we're talking about smart glass. One man said it perfectly. Uh, not not to jump ahead in the press conference, okay. but w- during South Park's. Little. Oh, oh God! Is this a jab? I got to say it. Wait, was it Trey that said it? Yeah. yeah okay, he comes out. How many times has this happened to you? This, this is uh, probably blown out of proportion. I might get this wrong, but it's how many times have you been sitting there watching an episode of South Park, wanting to play the game of it on your tablet, from your laptop, from your Xbox, <laughs> on your oven. refrigerator. Luckily, this game has nothing to do with that. We're not doing any of that. We're here to talk about a game. <laughs> that is awesome. I suddenly remember that I want to check out exactly Cartman's stats while I'm sitting on the toilet taking a shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better look that up. How many, time, how many times did Cartman say he was being fucked by his mom in this episode? <laughs> Oh, but returning to a little <laughs> bit of the gaming portion, um, next out of the gate came Tomb Raider. And now this one, at, this is one of two demos that they showed off at E3. Um, this one was the actual action portion of the game. Showed combat, more of a more of a cover style, quick cha- uh, quick weapon changes. Um, also, they added an XP meter, so you know there's some kind of RPG element. Where you built up your survival survival skills and stuff like that. Jeez, you think at this point she'd be pretty survival ready? Well, no. Well, well, this is the origin. origin. This is her first mission. Oh. Yeah, this is the origin of yeah, it. Yeah, this is how Laura Croft became Laura Croft. It's a it's a full reboot reimagination. I'm sorry, I spoke. <laughs> yeah, I got Good beat job, down Barry. fast. <laughs> How's Zelda treating you? Uh-huh. <laughs> How's oh. Obsidian? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we have to make it past Skyrim first. (laughs) Uh, Also, we got new trailers from um, the indie publishers of Microsoft. Uh, We got a trailer for Ascend New Gods, which has a 2013 uh, tentative release date. Uh, Looked kind of God of War-y. Sounds God of War-y. Yeah. (laughs) So... Um, a studio I'm actually excited for because I know they actually put out a good product. <laughs> Local Cycle was announced by Twisted Pixel. Didn't get any information on that whatsoever, which kind of pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got Matter for Connect, which is coming out again in 2013. Again, no real information announced, but hey, they're these are probably going to be Xbox Live titles. So, Summer mm-hmm. of Arcade. Yep. That's okay. Um, also, we finally got our lo- uh, next out of the gate, Resident Evil 6. Following the story of Leon Kennedy, at least and in this part. Exactly. What? <laughs> I was just wondering, like, did he freeze? Do we have to reboot him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to cut somebody else off because he was going to jump the gun again. I just want to say Chris. And Jake. And Claire. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I was just going to say and Chris. I knew Jake and. Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. all of those. We're not talking about that. Yeah. We're talking about this demo. That's why we're not saying homework. anything. <laughs> you didn't give us all that. <laughs> you didn't have access to the internet for the last week? Uh, you only mm. said a big cast all E3. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. Just follow the lead. <laughs> Oh, so they showed off new cover mechanics. They're they're kind of going more of a cover-based action shooter, but they're trying to return Resident Evil to their horror roots. The regular zombies are back. 
That's yes. what they. That's what they said. Yes, yeah, but they all this run. This is your Left for Dead, <laughs> Dead Island zombies. Those, this is more of the. Uh, no, yeah. they run. We saw them run. Oh, <laughs> oh, the the, fright, some, the, some the, the the frightening like, factor is back. Su- supposedly, from what I saw, I saw more action than I saw. Yeah. Th- more horror. Um, one thing that they, they finally did add, they added more of a run and gun element. I also did um, CQC moments. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, kind of adding the dive and dodge, kind of like a Max Payne. They didn't slow the world mm-hmm. down, but you could do it. Um, Wait, was the demo that you saw had the helicopter? Yes. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, that was the Leon one. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, also one thing that I really did like is that they actually showed that this is real time in their world. So, like, zombies, when you shoot them, they actually start falling apart. You know, and you actually see actual, like, uh, specific body damage happening. So it's Wait, not, That looks pretty cool. Yeah, so it's not, so it's not like you're, you're facing a brand new... Like, these zombies are just two weeks old. We threw them into the game because, mm-hmm. yeah. New batch! Throw them in! So, uh, I mean, looking very excited... Uh, it's not Operation yeah. Raccoon City. Thank yes. God. And they're like, oh yeah, we're also bringing back uh, the co-op play that everyone is so f- famous with. So I'm like, okay, no stun baton. They that said is. that it's a revised AI. We'll see. Woo. And it's a lot for better. One yeah, we thought it would have been revised for Operation Raccoon City. No, we still <laughs> have four more to go for. No, I said we're one-tenth done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, next up, we had the Racketeer, which is basically Angry our Microsoft's version of Angry Birds for the Kinect. Of course. First person slinging bombs into made-up castles and stages. You want to know what's really irritating? That that's an Angry Birds genre when there were so many games exactly. out there before Angry Birds that were exactly the same. Yeah, like Gorilla that threw like bananas oh, at no. each other. So dumb. God, I hate Angry Birds. Thank you! <laughs> Every little kid that comes through and buys something Angry Birds related, I just want to punch him in the face. High five. Angry, Angry <laughs> Birds is just an offshoot of worms. But, thank you! So, yes. and then, next up, and this is where I will sit back. Uh-oh. I do, next up, Matt Stone and Trey Parker take the stage. The and only two us. living people on that entire fucking conference. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. South Park, the stick of truth. Andrew's which is currently game. scheduled to come out March 5th, 2013. Andrew so doesn't want to talk because he knows he just has so much love in his heart for this. So earlier, before we went on camera... He's going to buy it and not It's coming it. out the exact <laughs> same day as Tomb Raider. Yes. <laughs> and... We're all like, oh, Andy, what games? So you're going to get both of them, huh? And he's like, no, I'm only going to spend money on one of them. And we're all like, oh, so you're going to, you're not getting Tomb Raider. And everybody thought that was kind of funny because he does not like Obsidian currently right now. <laughs> or I don't know if he's ever liked Obsidian. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> only point I need to make about this is name a successful su- Obsidian game. New Vegas. Fallout. I said successful. New Vegas. Fallout. You go they on. They made some. They worked on some of the original Fallout's. And uh, if you go on any no, Fallout, that was older. That not was not play. Uh, they helped make some of the originals. Yes, with Interplay. That's why they. You, you oh, my that goodness, yes. oh my they goodness! Oh my They talk about how they worked with Interplay on some of the. Yeah, original and then they Fallout. also had a couple clicks. DOS but games too. That was like really a Starfighter. For that. It's they're not. Interplay. But it, yeah. they did work with them. So it's still g- successful. G- give me, give me a game. Okay, okay, give me a game that they're actually credited with. Did it New Vegas? Vegas. New Vegas. Once again, if you yeah. go on any Fallout forum or anything, and you bring up the discussion Fallout Three or Fallout New Vegas, the diehard fans will lean towards New Vegas. Didn't New Vegas also get like Game of the Year no, or no. something like that? Well, they got they have a Game of the Year edition, but it's oh, not. They, they didn't, they didn't, get, they didn't edition, win yeah. a Game of the Year trophy oh. from anybody I can think of. No, but so. I agree Sorry, with you. I like Fallout 3 better, but... Off of Fallout, this is Stick of Truth, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, we actually bro. got to we see... We got a release date. We got a release date, and, and, we, got, and we got to see gameplay. That Where there was gameplay in that entire trailer, so... Not a whole lot, but... Not a whole lot, but... But we saw screenshots, too, so we kind of had an idea of what yeah, we were getting. The, the thing was, is that you couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. You couldn't tell the difference what was show 
and what was game. Yeah, because he could attest to that. They had to they had to match that crappy, crappy South guy. Park <laughs> animation <laughs> style, which I, I love that they're like. So yeah, we went to Obsidian. <laughs> Ah, 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 nice try. <laughs> hey, that came out of Max Stone's own <laughs> mouth. If you don't believe me, go back and watch it. I think it. he said something that we worked with Obsidian and we needed, to, we, it took us a while to get down to that crappy style. No, that's not what they said on stage. All, All right. right. We will look at this turn. I'd say fact check it, but we've seen how that worked out the last couple of weeks. <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, so after South Park, we got an Usher concert. Why? Mm, that was stupid. Uh, because so stupid. someone had to entertain me for at least five minutes. <laughs> you know what have entertained me? A trailer. Uh, video games. Um, announcements. Anyway. The funny thing is they had the trailer playing, but you didn't see it. Half the time the cameras were focused uh, wait, on Usher. Wait, so like, yeah, so what you is this to the exact... Oh, damn it. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Here in the rest of the conversation. <laughs> oh, and then last but certainly oh, not least, years. Microsoft ended with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The only note I have from that from that ending segment is See Garrett. 11 13 12. I That's I the only thing I don't I know if you're actually excited for Call of Duty or not because when I was reading through the stuff you posted on the website, it's your article, hard. it's kind of hard because you sound like you're legitimately excited to play and Call I of Duty. stab you with the <laughs> knife when you're not looking. Yeah, that's how I work that shit. But no, because I couldn't tell. Like they, they, like the one thing they noticed they added is they added that um the first open. part was was normal rails just running through the corner, and then they added that part where you got to choose to snipe or go down into the trench with them. And I was like. That's cool. That's yes, not new. Because that's, that's not that. That's new to it. But the thing that changed for me was hey. the plane parts. What's up? I, no, no, hold on. I feel like we're in a big bang theory right now. Like I'm just kind of chilling on that dog. Shut up. Just keep going. Like, <laughs> for those of you who are listening to the audio portion of this podcast, please go and watch the YouTube version so you can see that little <laughs> infantile, like little thing that. He wants to like, talk so badly, but back. Dog fight. Yes. That was the other thing. You were like, they, you actually get an option to do dog fights now. Well, you so. got the dog yeah. fight, but the well, thing that really—I just love how they how they were trying to claim that. Oh yeah, we added open world elements to it, and wow, you can go it's point A to point B. It's, it's still just follow the fuck. Leader. It's but different no, the, decisions. The, 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 it's different. Ca- if you pick a d- certain decision, the whole entire game changes. It's just like no, it doesn't. Yet. We haven't game seen changes. that part yet. That's what they. Not that's what they the say. Hey, it looks different. I am happy with it's what Mass tr- Effect Three ending. I am happy with <laughs> what uh, Treyarch is doing. It's uh, not uh, Infinity okay, War. I it's not it Modern Warfare. Like with uh, it's Treyarch, and they're doing that. different things. It looks good. Uh, wait. I, I'm Fuck you! In <laughs> when Metal Gear Solid 4, like the first time it was ever mentioned that it was coming out, I just remember they were like, you're going to like come out in the middle of this war and you got to choose, are you going to shoot the guys on the left or shoot the guys on the right? And that's who you'll team up with or whatever. Yo. And like that's what it makes me think of. Like You just choose one option and it doesn't really change the game. game at all. So, you know. so wait, hold on. Linear path. Oh, we're at a corridor. I can either go option A, option B. Yeah. Back to linear path. path. Yeah, it's a that first person change. shooter, though, but dude. The one thing that I did see is that the dog fighting actually looked like you could control the dog fight. That that was awesome. Cause it was like, all right, now we're in battlefield territory, and I'm interested again. Because uh-huh. it's like you, you, I don't, you don't need to put the dog fighting into multiplayer, but the fact that you could actually control the dog fight inside there was awesome. Mm. Usually those sections. Um, when you got into the hover plane, it was yeah. like you, you, it was all, it was all, all on rails. rails. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, when he took off, I'm like, he's actually turning. Like, you actually yeah, controlled the turn. Yeah, when you're going the down the freeway, okay. you're actually you're, can be driving the vehicle. But when you actually took the fight, I'm like, yeah, you could just go, fuck this. <laughs> and just go off the path. And yeah, I'm like, you, you, that's you, awesome. You can just take the usually exit most ramp of the time, off. Yeah, usually most of the time you get in the plane, like, in Battlefield, the test that very much, you didn't get to control anything. It was like, shoot the gun, guys. I'm like... Um, okay. And half the time it's just press the button. <laughs> yeah. All right, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead, Jim. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> if that's what you're excited about, play Ace Combat. Play Hawks. Just, you know, there are dogfighting games out there. But, but I'm, for but I'm them to do it, it's if they, if they want it's to actually impressive. For them to going outside their comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, to their comfort zone. It's actually impressive. But where, where I'm also going to criticize a little bit is if they wanted to add... You know, like the decision making of how do I want to approach a certain situation. We've all seen if you want to do it and where it actually affects the storyline a little bit, 
Crisis. Yeah. That that franchise has made their money on that and just melting PCs. But we don't need to go down <laughs> that road. We'll see later what it looks like we'll when I get the game. That. And I know... You're right. We will see. I will be like... Really nice about it, not like a That's Duke Nukem with you. To buffer everything you say just in case. <laughs> yes, I don't want it to become like a Battle of versus Modern Warfare. But oh wait, how is that Modern uh, Medal of Honor game look like? Oh, crappy like Realistic? usual. And crappy. We're not even there yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he didn't let me talk about my Black Ops. Move on to the next one. He didn't let not me talk even there about yet. Black Ops. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh. Do you have anything else to say about Black Ops before we close? Last no. Words? Nothing? Thumbs up? Alright. <laughs> we have like nine more pages, so. Yeah, eight million more pages. <laughs> uh, so, Microsoft's press conference. 